Hi everyone, it's Angela. So I was making some tags for my Strawberry Shortcake journal and I thought I would pop on because it dawned on me as I'm pulling out some of my fabrics to use that I got them for free and I wanted to share that with my subscribers. So the first place I got some free fabric samples was Pottery Barn. And here is the information. It is uh, potterybarn.com. And you can go on there, and I think you can get like 20 samples. And the samples come in an envelope like this from Pottery Barn. And they look like this. So they're attached to like a little card. This one is like a leather, so yeah, you get quite a few uh, samples. So I wanted to share that with you guys, and you can choose from a variety of different textures and colors and patterns and that kind of fun stuff. So go on to PotteryBarn.com and get you guys some free samples. The other place that I got free samples from, and I think this one you can get, I think it was like 30 or something like that. It was something crazy um, amount of samples. So here's all the samples I got. And that is Smith & Noble. And... Um, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, 30 samples you can get from Smith & Noble. So here is their information. It is smithandnoble.com. And I got a whole bunch of cool fabrics from them. Again, a different textures, different colors. Um, patterns, all kinds of awesome fabric samples. And these are a little bigger. These are like 4x4 four four or 5x5. Five five. And the ones from Powdery Barn are like 2x2. Two two. This is nice texture on this one. Yeah, so they're not stingy. And shipping is free. So these are absolutely free samples. When I say free, I mean free. Like I paid nothing for these samples. So get on to smithandnoble.com and potterybarn.com and get you guys your free samples before they stop doing it. Because once they find out that crafters are um, getting on there getting some free samples they might stop doing it so i got these about i don't know a month or so ago and um i haven't used them but i pulled them out to use them on these tags that i was doing like um this is one of the samples here that i cut to use on this one this is one of the samples here i cut down to use on this one and this is one of the samples that I cut down to use on this one. So they are very um, nice samples. And um, not only that, but I thought, I went to the, crap, the uh, thrift store today, to Salvation Army, and they had a pack of these, um, cards and I had didn't have any they are flash cards that doesn't have a date on the box but they look pretty vintage to me um I've never seen any like this before um they're made in the USA in Greensboro North Carolina and so made in the USA. So they're definitely vintage. <laughs> Nothing's made in the USA anymore, unfortunately. 
So, so yeah, so I got a whole bunch of those and um, some addition ones that are a little bit different size. So I thought, you know what? Since I just bought them and I have them out, let me go ahead and get on and do a video and play. So, and I also wanted to share with you guys um, these awesome finds that, and then you can save these and make little pocket tags with them <laughs> from Pottery Barn. So, um, so yeah, you don't throw those away unless you rip one which I did so try not to rip them when you take your samples off because they will make awesome pocket tags all right so on my little journey here uh again I'm getting ready to do a strawberry shortcake journal for myself and um because I grew up in the 80s and strawberry shortcake and was like the thing <laughs> when I was growing up um, strawberry shortcake and punky brewster okay Need I say more? If you were born in the 80s or early 70s, or late 70s rather, early 80s, you know Punky Brewster and you know Strawberry Shortcake. Okay, so I promised myself I was going to do a Strawberry Shortcake journal for myself, so I'm starting it. And the new year is one of my things that I wanted to do. So I had cut out, I had printed out some strawberry shortcake images sorry guys i forgot to put my phone on silent let me do that real quick okay now we won't get interrupted again so um i printed out some images and i was like i said i was going through some fabric and i came across those um so i i kind of have everything laid out the way i want it i've already inked around um my cards as you can see this one I did like a pink color this is actually worn lipstick and a little bit of uh, vintage photo mixed in with it to tone it down a little bit because the worn lipstick is very bright so what I thought I would do and then this is a piece of crochet lace that I got on eBay I don't remember how much I paid for it but it wasn't much it was a um, auction with a whole bunch of other um, different laces and whatnot. Um, so I was going to put that on there like that with this fabric sample and then this piece of fabric behind it, like so. So you can't really tell what it is from the front, but when you turn it over, I'm not going to decorate the back. So you'll be able to tell what it is from the back. So I was going to sew these, but I figured since I was sharing the fabric samples, let me go ahead and share what I was doing with them. And so, and then this one um, is one of my little cutouts, this piece of fabric, this piece of vintage lace, like this. So I thought that was so adorable. Just love how that um, came out. And then again, the back is plain. And then this one, I kept a little bit more simple because she's so big but I liked that she was so big so I just did a little floor flower looking trim at the bottom there and this one has a little bit of a collage going on so we have their printout then I have a piece of scrapbooking paper which I just love I think that is just scream strawberry shortcake and then I have a little piece of fabric and then another little piece of fabric and then I had bought some strawberry ribbon from I'm not sure if it was ooh la la crafts or if it was from wiki laces on Etsy but I know I got it on Etsy from one of those two stores so I apologize I don't remember but it was wiki laces or ooh la la crafts one of those check it out if you're interested but anyway so I, I layered that up on the top there and then I'm gonna put the image down at the bottom there that says strawberry shortcake and that's that and then I think I'm gonna sew around them so I'm gonna do that off camera of course and then um, 
yeah, so that's what I was doing. So I figured I would just pop on, share those two things with you, and show you my strawberry shortcake tags because I am working on that journal finally. And um, I hope to maybe do some craft alongs. Uh, I get kind of nervous doing those because I'm not very um, fast as far as choosing items. So I'm worried that it'll get boring for you guys. <laughs> um, but I did want to share that these flashcards make awesome tags. Um, and then I like to poke holes and put, you know, my tie-offs or whatever I want to do for the top. But, um, yeah, so don't hesitate to buy some flashcards. I have plenty now. I might put some in my Etsy shop if anyone's interested. Um... And so that's what I'm working on. Uh, I'm going to make a few more and then I'm going to um, maybe put together some signatures for my book and figure out what I'm going to do for the cover. So thanks for watching and happy crafting all. Bye bye.